Do you see this picture right here? Well, this was the start of a good Christmas 2021 before it all went down the drain and because of <laughs> poor communication. Yes, we fall victim to poor communication from yep. time to time too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into what happened on this Christmas and why communication is so important. Let's talk about it. So Christmas morning, like I was saying, whew, um, it was a doozy. <laughs> it started off good, like I said, um, but after we took pictures and we had our, our, our morning coffee, morning our sweaters, coffee, <laughs> we started opening up gifts. <laughs> that's, <laughs> where, that's where things took a turn. Things took a turn. <laughs> and not for the better. <laughs> yeah. So I think the communication kind of really got lost um, even probably before Christmas yeah. because I was given a task of what do you want for Christmas? Mm -hmm. And I said, eh, I don't know. And I didn't really have a response for it for, the, for a, probably a month and a half, two months. Just didn't think, you know, Christmas kind of came out of nowhere this yeah, year. Yeah, we'll so, say it came by pretty fast. So I just wasn't in the Christmas spirit with yeah. COVID and all that stuff. It just like, it kind of just slipped my mind. And mm -hmm. then um, by the time we're in late December, it's like, oh, I still didn't ask for anything. Mm -hmm. So the communication was already a little uh, lackluster at that point. So she had to go on a, a, hope, on a hope and a prayer. <laughs> and she got me a couple of items, um, all clothing items. I'm not that big into clothing. So uh, that was a little bit of a like, hmm, okay, that's what you're going to give me. Okay. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the shade is still there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then when I tried it on, I think I probably had a, a, a noticeable reaction that uh, the clothes were a little bit on the baggier side. They weren't the, the sizes that I would... Uh, that I would like and that Jen yeah. knows that I would like too. Yeah, but they weren't as they you like more of a fitted style and, right. and I will say that it shocked me too that the clothes didn't fit you the way that they were supposed to. <laughs> so I can understand you feeling a way of like you have these gifts but they're not right fitting the way that you know and, you like them to fit. And I sense. think um the combination of um, the all clothes as gifts and then it also not being fitted or not being the certain style that I like. I was like, Ooh, I must, I must have had showed it on my face. Cause I didn't realize I was doing it in the moment, but clearly Jen saw it as she was not having it at all. It wasn't that I was not having it. I was trying to make the best of the situation. Cause I could clearly like read your body language right. and see it on your face. I think I was more so hurt. Mm. Um, not even by like you, but just by like that. I understand like you didn't ask her anything. It was kind of like a sub, you know, just me kind of throwing something out there and it didn't stick. Right. Um, and then too, like, of course, everyone wants to like open their gifts and be happy and enjoy it. And it wasn't an enjoyable experience. So yeah. I was more so hurt because it was like, dang, he doesn't like it. And I can't say, well. I got you this to say, you're going to like this. It was like, you didn't, you didn't like it. Right. So it was just more so like, I felt like, oh, I kind of dropped the ball. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to make you feel like that. And I'm sorry for that. And we're giving public apologies on camera <laughs> right now. No, actually I apologize. The you next did. Day. Yeah. So, you know, let's, let's don't get it twisted. We, yeah. we, we not just doing this for the camera. We do oh, this yeah. in real life. Cause we were both on a petty train that day. We were on a petty train that day. <laughs> And it persisted for the rest of the day. And yes. I think that's where the lack of communication really happened. And yeah. why communication can be so important because it's more so just about being the bigger person and coming to the realization that it's not that deep. And like, also like understanding the reason why someone may be feeling a certain way, understanding yeah. your, your partner's feelings because had I probably just came to you and said, hey, man, my feelings are really hurt because of X, Y, and Z. And you said, oh, okay, well, the last thing I wanted to do w was hurt your feelings, but my feelings were also kind of hurt. And I was feeling, so, or maybe your feelings weren't hurt, but you were like, I'm feeling a kind of way because, you know, I just expected you to kind of get it right and the clothes didn't fit. And regardless if you didn't tell me what 
I, I didn't tell you what I wanted for Christmas. I kind of like had the expectation that you would just know what mm-hmm. I like and that didn't happen. And I was a little unhappy about that. Yeah. And I think if we approached it that way, we could have salvaged the day, but we were both just like, nah. Yeah, we both, definitely. <laughs> and then the day just kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> and it really did. And I think it was because, yes, the energy was off. And, okay, there is, there's ways to correct that energy even if something doesn't go the way that you planned it um, on my part or on your part. Mm-hmm. But where we really failed that day on Christmas was the lack of communication after the energy was thrown off Mm -hmm. because you had your perspective on how things went that day and I had my perspective Mm -hmm. but neither one of us communicated to each other like how we were feeling and why it got to that point and why we just didn't communicate for the rest of the day like we don't ever usually get to the point where we're not communicating for for the rest for the of the day. Remainder I of mean, the day, like, yeah, yeah. If if there's something that irks our nerves or gets under our skin, we'll we'll correct it within the hour, or within yeah. two hours or something. Yeah. But I think on this day, we both had our pride up. We both had yeah. our egos. We going let ego and, get in the way, and sure. that's something that you shouldn't do in a relationship. And the only reason we're bringing this to you guys in such a raw fashion. Because Hold on, before you get to that point. <laughs> I agree that we definitely had our ego up. And I think there was some pettiness in there, too. And I can be honest from my perspective. I was fine at one point, but then this is a true story, too. But when I got pizza for us, which I thought was going to lighten the mood, and you took that pizza and went in the room and shut the door, I was like, oh, I'm really not talking to him. Like, I was like, I went out and got his pizza thinking maybe, okay, yeah. food. Because food always brings people together. Yeah, definitely pizza. So I thought, like, okay, some pizza mm-hmm. will be cool. But when you took them two slices and you went in that room and shut the door, I said, oh, baby, no, no, no. <laughs> she was like, I'm, was I'm like, done. I'm like, done. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm about to be petty. And that's not cool. You know, that's not cool. Yeah, and it's also not cool on my part to actually do that because I knew that probably would sting a little bit because, yeah, mm-hmm. she got the pizza and then I basically just went in the room. So, yeah, uh, pride, ego was definitely going. Yeah. And – These are the things that really can break down a relationship over time. You don't want to have too many of these days that go back to back to back or or seasons of this because it really can, when when there's a lack of communication, either you're not expressing the feelings that you're feeling or Mm -hmm. your partner's not vice versa. Mm -hmm. And there's always a little bit of animosity or or there can be some pent up aggression that gets released at a later time because the communication wasn't was off, was off then and there. Yeah. Now and, I will mm-hmm. say, oh, let me say this one last point. I will say for the day that we had Christmas, I think it was also in the spirit of Christmas. Like we wanted the day to be good. Yeah. And since it wasn't, we were just like, all right, forget it. Like, yeah. you know, let we ain't even going to try. And I think that was so wrong on both of our parts, but I think there could have been some places where we could have stepped in and brought the tension down and just yeah. had better communication. Now, oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you. Yeah, I was going to say just to kind of piggyback off what you said um, not too long ago about the communication. A breakdown in communication can cause like a breakdown in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's the last thing you want, especially if it's the person you see a future with. And so, yes, we did have a small moment where we let our ego, our pride, Mm -hmm. kind of get the best of us, poor body language, which are all things that you really want to be mindful of and try to, like, not let take hold of a relationship because it can cause a breakdown in communication and a breakdown in the relationship. But luckily for us we didn't let it it did affect us for the remainder of the day but we didn't let it, did. it affect us going forward yeah. and we did come together and, and we talked about it but i do agree that there were points where one of us should have been the bigger person the bigger or person just, uh, or just just seeing it for what it was and yes it things didn't go the way we anticipated but 
I mean, because at the end of the day, it wasn't that deep. It wasn't not, that deep. It's not like it was some type exactly. of situation that needed to be. Yeah. That deep that we're not talking to each other for the rest of the day. And not only that, like, that's not even what Christmas is about. Right. Christmas is not about, like, getting gifts and all of that stuff. And we let superficial, like, tangible things kind of get in the get in the way of what the true meaning of Christmas is. And it should have just been us being really grateful and thankful for each other, been, being able to spend time together. Uh-huh. Um and celebrating and the man above, you know, but exactly. that just was not. And, uh, it's called Merry Christmas for a reason, and it wasn't. It Mary. wasn't Mary. <laughs> it wasn't Mary. Mary in twenty twenty one. I mean, we have spent eleven Christmases together, and that was by it far. It was sucky. That was by far the worst one. Um, yeah. and every other one was great. Um, but you know, that's what happens in marriage. That's what happens in relationships. There's ups and downs. There's bad yeah. days. There's good days. And this was a bad day. And we're bringing this to your attention and having a whole video about this because I think it's important. We don't yeah. want to come off like we are know-it-alls and that we don't ever have any type of uh, flaws. Yeah, we, we make mistakes ma too. We're human and we have challenges just like you all. And again, like you said, this is why we create this content to let you guys know like, hey, these are some things that if you can avoid it, by all means, like we want to share these resources with you. But like you guys, we're human and we make mistakes and we have off days and yeah. there's a lack of proper communication in our relationship. Now, too. now what do we pre what's the number one thing that we preach on this channel? As communication far as is key. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. And we failed that day. We did. Um, but we want to share this with you because I think what it really broke down to was ego pride and just letting the moment get the best of us mm -hmm. instead of like being the bigger person either one of us and just stepping in and having better mm -hmm. communication mm -hmm. so we're hoping that you're getting some value from a, a real life situation yeah. a real life not a very merry christmas <laughs> um but it's a learning lesson for us yeah. and for any any of our viewers out there that enjoys this content that we're making all right, so with that said, we're going to sign off for today. I'm Jen. And I'm Shane. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Enjoy the journey.